In this video, we are going to take a look at Triskel's algorithm, which is used to find the minimum spanning tree for a graph. So the minimum spanning tree is that spanning tree, which has the minimum weight among all possible spanning trees. So if this is a graph and this is the minimum spanning tree, we know that the number of vertices in the minimum spanning tree will be equal to the vertices of the graph and the number of edges in the minimum spanning tree will be equal to the number of vertices minus 1. So this we have seen in our earlier video and you can check further details. So this algorithm it employs a greedy approach that means at every step it is going to make some locally optimal choices. So in broadly we can say the algorithm works in this way that it will sort all the edges of the graph by their weights and then we will start iterations wherein at each, each iteration we will add the next lowest weight edge one by one such that the edges picked until now do not form a cycle. So this is one of the major consideration in the minimum spanning tree that there should not be any cycle or loop. So let's take a look at the pseudocode for this algorithm. So given a graph G with a set of vertices V and a set of edges E. So initially our minimum spanning tree is null. And now for each vertex V in this set of vertex V, we create set V. That means now we are going to create sets using these vertices. And these sets will be like disjoint sets. So initially all the sets will have one vertex each. So all the vertices belonging to this set V will be placed in these disjoint sets. So if the number of vertices in the input graph is n, that means now with this n sets will be formed and each will be having one vertex. Then we are going to scan all the edges in this set of edges E by non-decreasing weight. So we will keep the edge with the minimum weight first and then go on increasing by their non-decreasing weight. Now for each edge uv, what we will do is we will find the set u and find set v. Now these are representative sets. Find set means that we will find the set which is representing this vertex u and then find the set which is representing this vertex v. If they are not equal, so we have to see that these sets, these representative sets are not equal. Why? because this is going to prevent cycle in the MST and this we are going to see how. So if these sets are not equal, they are disjoint sets, then we are going to add this edge in our MST. And then we will also merge these two representative sets. So whatever is the set representing vertex U, V and whatever is the set representing vertex V, we are going to merge those sets, take a union of those sets. Finally, when we have done this for the, all the edges, then we will get our final MST. So let's take an example to see how this algorithm works. So let's say this is our input graph. We can see that the number of vertices in this graph is 6. So that means our final MST will also have 6 vertices and the number of edges in our MST will be 6 minus 1 which is 5. So initially we have created these sets and we can see that there is one vertex in each of these sets. Also we have scanned the edges and now we have put the edges in their non-decreasing weight. So we started with these two edges which were having the minimum weight AB and CE and then all the edges with weight 3, all the edges with weight 4 and all the edges with weight 5 and so on. So if there are two edges with same weight, there is no particular order. We can add them in any order that we want. So this is the first step that we have done is create these sets with the vertices and scan the edges with the non-decreasing weight. Now what we do is we take any random, so we take this edge 
the first edge which is there in this uh, list and we see that this is edge AB. So we check the representative sets of these vertices. So the, there are two vertices now A and B. So this edge is between these two vertices A and B. So we check the representative sets. So these are the representative sets having vertices A and B. We see that they are not equal, they are disjoint. So we can add this edge to our MST. So we have added this edge AB to our MST. And also what we have to do is take a union of these representative sets. So we have taken a union of these representative sets. So now we check the next edge which is CE. So now there are two vertices C and E and we have to take check their sets. So this is set which is representing vertex C. This is the set which is representing vertex E. Again we see they are disjoint sets. So that means this edge can now also be added to the MST. So now we have also added this edge CE to the MST. You can see that the Kriskal's algorithm is not making the MST in a kind of a connected way. It is just adding vertices based on the edge weights. So now this is currently this MST is disconnected but ultimately it will become connected. So now what we have done, we have added this edge CE and also we have merged these two sets and now they are form, forming one set which is containing both these vertices. We go to the next edge which is AF and now we see that AF, we have to check the representative sets of these two vertices A and F. So A is being represented by this set and F is being represented by this set. Again, they are disjoint sets. That means we can add this edge to the MST. So we have added this edge AF to the MST and also now we will take a union of these two sets. So we have taken a union also and A, B and F are now in one set. Next, we go to the next edge which is BC. So the representative set for B is this. The representative for C is this. They are disjoint. So we add this edge BC to the MST and we take a union of these two sets and now we have this new set. Let's go to the next edge which is BE. So this is having two vertices B and E. The representative set of B is this and the representative set of E is also this. It is not, they are not different sets, they are the same set. So we cannot add this edge to the MST. So this edge we cannot add. You also can see that in case you added this edge, it would form a cycle. So as we said earlier, we check this condition to make sure that there are no cycles. So since B and E are belonging to the same set, we will not add this edge. Also, you can see that B and E are already there in the MST. So no new vertex is being added in this case. So BE is not added to the MST now. Let's take this next edge, which is CD. It is having two vertices C and D. C is being represented by this set. D is being represented by this set. So that means they are disjoint sets. This edge can be added over here and the representative sets can be merged together. Now let's go to the next edge, EF. Again, E and F are already there. Also, we can see that all the vertices are already there in the graph now. So the number of vertices in the MST are already equal to the number of MST uh, edges or vertices in the original graph but we still have to check this list so EF we can see that both are belonging to the same set so we will not add EF so we also see that if we add EF over here it was it will cause a cycle that is why it is not going to be added the next edge is BF again we see that BF both the vertices belong to the same set so again, they will not be added. Also, adding BF will cause a cycle in the graph. 
Next we see is edge DE and DE also cannot be added because DE are, will cause a cycle and D and E vertices both belong to this one single set. So we see that this is the MST that we have created and that it contains all the vertices and the number of vertices is 6. Also the number of edges which should be 6 minus 1 which should be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 edges. So this is our final MST and we have seen how Kriskal's algorithm helps us compute this minimum spanning tree.